Hey. Hey. How's John? He's, he's good. He's doing better all the time. Can't say that for yourself, though, can you? <laughs> you know, I totally lost track of time. I should be hanging out at the church. I gotta go home first and sh shave. Your shaving kit and some clean clothes are right outside. Did you let yourself into my apartment? Well, your super was very understanding and he appreciated the tip. Go ahead, I'll sit with John. Go get ready. <laughs> okay, I appreciate it, I really do. Jax. I'm going to take advice from you. 
Oh, come on. I think it's great, and I think it's perfect. We can change diapers and go over hotel stuff together. You can, you can see me dead on my feet with no makeup on, and I can figure out all your deepest, darkest secrets. I was just kidding about that last part there. Um, not a day for jokes. Let's go. I am so sorry. if it weren't so pathetic. So you only, you only acknowledged Courtney as your sister when it was convenient for you. When, you. when you didn't agree with the choices that she made, you ignored her. Told her she wasn't welcome in your home. You couldn't even be bothered to stay at the hospital the night, the night that she died. And he, he knew that she was sick. I mean, if, if the positions were reversed, she wouldn't have left him. But you never even, you never even gave her a second thought. Janine, Courtney's mother told Courtney that her father was dead because she was mad at him, Alan. Called her a whore and a murderer, didn't you? Jason. Jason here married Courtney, pulled her into his iconic life a crime, which caused her to lose the baby and then he abandoned her. Jax. Courtney's supposed happily ever after. You used her to have a baby. What is that? And for those of you who, who didn't call Courtney names to her face, you did so behind her back and she knew it. You're all hypocrites. It is a miracle, a miracle, Father, that the ceiling hasn't fallen in on the whole damn lot of you. Stop. I know you're grieving, but this isn't helping anyone. Why do you care? 
You never liked or approved of Courtney. You tried endlessly to convince me that I wasn't in love with her, that we had no future. Well, it turns out you were right. Courtney has no future with anyone. She wouldn't want you doing this, Nicholas. I know you're hurting and you want the rest of this to her, but this will not bring her back. No, it won't. Nothing will bring Courtney back, which I'm sure is a relief to all of you. You can gradually forget what you did to Courtney, how you treated her. But all she ever wanted was for everyone in her life to be happy, and this is what she gets for it. It's a difficult day for all of us. So why don't we just proceed with the, the rest of the...